Tricky numbers here. Juve, minus 725. Salernitana, plus 1,600. But I'm not sure that the total's right because over 3.25 goals is at minus 102. I'm not sure I see four goals here because Juve, last time they scored four, and I, <laughs> Z- Zabig Nuboniek was playing. I was uh, a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> No, it weren't that long ago. Draw plus <laughs> seven twenty-five. Juve a minus one thirty to score three. I quite like Juve not to score three, but maybe win this game two nil at plus one hundred. Mina. Yeah, I mean, I do think this is a this is a fun match um, because if Juventus ever needed a game to play right now to lift them up, I would say it's Salernitana, uh, to be honest with you. Having said all of that, there was something that we spoke about last week when Salernitana was playing Atalanta. And we thought, well, Atalanta is going to be a little bit tired after what they, the Europa League. Mm. And potentially this is the best game that you could face afterwards because you know this is a team that's already relegated. But then we made the point that maybe because they're relegated, the shackles will mm. be off. They'll be allowed to have a little bit more fun. Not so much pressure. The mood will be lifted. And it's true because Salernitana scored first. And there was a part of me that was like really wanted them to win that match um, just for their own pride. But obviously, Atalanta came back in the second half because Kamak is just on fire. Um, and so is Coop Miners. So this is a great match for players like Vlaovic and Keza, who are just, I mean, especially Keza, who's just desperate to get back onto the scoring charts to, to try to exercise their ability to go forward and have a little bit of fun with it. You know, this is an Allegri team, so they're still going to be defense minded at times. Um, but I look at this and I think that I can't see a team that's ever going to be truly off the shackles. Like They're never going to be a team that plays with that attacking freedom that you would expect from a lot of the big teams. So I never see Juventus as capable of scoring the three or four goals. But I do see them getting goals. I do see them getting a win here. Um, it's important for them to get six points um, from now until the end of the season. Obviously, we know Atalanta have a game in hand, um, but otherwise... It's getting tight there, so somebody's going to have to drop out. Who's going to drop out? And Juventus have to secure that Champions League position. And this is the best game in which to do it at because it starts to get complicated a little bit from here. So I think this is a Juventus win. I haven't bet on a win in a while because it's been so awful for them. Um, It's almost relegation-level performances recently. But their performances actually as games, I think they've been playing pretty well. They just haven't been getting the results. So... I would go with Juventus and either over two and a half or under four and a half. Yeah, what about the creativity though, Nick, of uh, Juve? Because it's not as if like they've, they're producing like 10 goal scoring opportunities and it, that's home or away. This is a side that should be just wave after wave after wave of attacks and it's not happening. I think the plus 100, you know, on them not scoring free is a great bet. Sorry, yes. over one and a half, not two and Take a half. I said, and a half. yeah, yeah, because yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking not over two and a half. Yeah, <laughs> it's, over to you, Nick. <laughs> there's a lot going on here. So, Juve obviously win here. We'll we'll get them that Champions League qualification. Very very important. But they got the Copa final, Atlanta, three days after this match, right? And I know uh, you know getting Champions League football is priority number one, but they need a trophy. How many years has it been since you guys won a trophy now? It seems like forever for a team that won them every single year, right? So I think that match is going to be pretty important to them. I think they're definitely – this is this is the classic look-ahead spot. Ah, it's out on a ton. All right, all right. We, we, we can send out whoever we want. We'll, we'll win this game. This isn't a big deal. What do we need to do to get ready to face Atalanta three days after that, right? And that has me worried. I, I don't want to – I don't – I'll say this. I – I haven't done it yet myself, but I, my, my finger's over the trigger of pulling on Sal and Atana plus two and a quarter, simply because I do believe Juve will win this game. It's not like I'm saying Sal and going to win this game because of that. Mm. But you, this is a classic Juve game. Let them get that one nil, two nil maybe lead, and then go into vintage Juve, see it out, get through, sub out if you have to. Yeah. I don't even know what their, their starting eleven is going to look like, to be honest. Yeah, they they may already be rotated somewhat. But – What's it going to look like once they build that lead? I think they're going to kind of put off the break, play this thing out, sub sub out, rest some guys. Now you look ahead for that win. You've gotten your three points, assuming they're on a two nil type of a lead. We we assume they can close that out, right? And now they can start to prepare and think ahead a little bit for Atlanta. But they got to be careful here. I mean, as we mentioned, Salernitana, nothing to play for. Could be dangerous in the fact that who cares? Do whatever you want to do, have fun out there. But I don't. If Juve is really engaged in this game, I don't see him breaking down Juve. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of it's just a matter of how much Juve pulls off, you know, towards I the don't end. See so, yeah, the, the, the biggest threat to Juve is Juve. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. if they take, take their foot off the gas, let's have a little look mm-hmm. at the official picks here because you're not going to get rich going with Juve. You've got to get creative. Uh, Juve yeah. and under three and a half at minus one and nine. Uh, yeah, I don't see four goals. I mean, okay. this has got two nil row all over it. Um, and remember, it's plus 100. But I mean, you're better off going with a Juve and under three and a half if you believe uh, that they don't score three. This so money's come in for that, yeah. I mean, money's gone, anyway. Yeah, no, no, they don't like it, yeah. They don't like it. They think, no, they think you they're going to win 4-0. Uh, but That's you don't. Gone. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll look after you. 